Hi, my name's Sarah Valentine. I'm the principal at Fox UTC and I'd like to welcome you to what will be our first virtual tour of the UTC. Um, we're living in strange times and those of you that have met me before will know that this certainly isn't my favourite thing to do. Um, so what we'll do during this tour is we'll take you around the different facilities that we have at the UTC and I'm ably assisted by a student who will give me some prompts if I miss anything out. As we head up to the first floor you get a really good view of the main atrium and we use this for social time and um, students eat and drink here at break and at lunch. We've got a roof terrace that you'll see a bit later and it's very quiet because there are no students here well, except for the one that's recording this. You'll notice as we go round that we're part way through putting up the social distancing measures, signs and all of the other things that need to be in place to open and ready for students. Um, and this is the first floor. The first floor is the home of computing um, and also our learning centre, um, which we'll take you into in a moment. Um, in the learning centre, our learning support staff are based in there. Students can drop in there and obviously use the facilities that are in there. There are um, computers and books and all sorts of other facilities for students to use. This is the learning centre that hasn't yet been made available for students during social distancing, but this is how it's usually set up. So you can see it's a really well-equipped space. It's well used by students, um, particularly sixth form students for independent study and students that perhaps need to do some group work. Let's go through these double doors. Computing students spend a lot of time on this floor. Um, we have three really well-equipped rooms. Um, this room is fondly known as the fishbowl um, by our students because of the amount of glass around the room. Head on through to the room next door. This is the Mac room. Lots of creative things happen in here. Creative and media team. Um, students make films in here. Well, they edit films in here. They've been out and about usually filming or using the hall or other external facilities to do that. Um, some great work is produced in here and we're really proud of our students. Also have a, a fairly standard in, in terms of education. Um, computer room, but again lots of work happens in here for BTEC um, extended diploma and um, BTEC technical certificates in IT and in computing. This is usually a really nice breakout space for our students but in, in the current times we've sectioned this off so that students aren't able to use this when they return for their um, phase return for year 10 and 12. We also have um, a a data room for us for our students and um, this is where they get to take things apart and put them back together um, do all sorts of things in here including practicing for their Cisco qualifications um, so again a great facility um, the majority of the resources in here are actually things that are donated by our employer sponsors and our employer partners and, and just through here is the gym. Moving on up now to the second floor, which is where the majority of GCSE core lessons happen, but also quite a lot of building studies theory lessons happen up here. My office is just there, on the left. Um, I'm often not in there, uh, out and about, walking around, checking out what students are doing and how lessons are going. Um, so there's a classroom here that's actually um, part way through set up ready for some year 10s returning. Obviously less students in a classroom than normal. Go through here, this is where the core um, English and maths lessons are held. And again, a breakout area that we won't be using during this phased um, reopening period to ensure the safety and wellbeing of our students. There are maths rooms like this. And then if we go along and then if I take you into an English room, and um, there are five classrooms along this floor. <laughs> Plenty of storage for students in terms of lockers. They're spread throughout the building. This is one of our English classrooms. Again, set up for a really small group that we're expecting to return next week. Office space up there, and there's some more theory workshop space up here. This room won't be in use um, over this summer period, but will be in use when we're, when we're open to more students as time progresses. Here 
is the roof terrace and I think we might go outside because it's actually not raining. You get quite a good view of Aylesbury from here. Um, so we have um, done some refurbishment around the roof terrace so that students are able to use this space at break time and at lunch. Along here we're entering the science corridor, it's a really really well equipped science department. Um, great science staff and a great science technician. Um, if I take you into one of the classrooms, let's have a little look in here. Oh, maybe not. This one's messy. <laughs> so if I take you, uh, just have a quick look into one of the science labs. You can see that they're really well equipped. Um, students tend to do practicals in small groups. Um, the science team are really, really good at, at teaching um, our Key Stage 4 students about applied science, so the application of science in the world. This is our main construction workshop. It's split off into different sections. This is a double height area, so that if um, we need to build something that is tall or students need to do something that's working at height, it's easier to get a group of students to do that. And there's lots of facilities in here. Uh, students can complete plumbing, carpentry, electrical, all sorts of things. And if we go this way, I can show you through to the wood machine shop. Um, so you can see that we have great facilities in here. Um, students are able to learn how to use this equipment safely, trained by our staff. When students are working in this area, they wear PPE, personal protective equipment. Um, we're lucky that one of our sponsors, Taylor Wimpy, provides the PPE for all of our students so that they're ready and they feel like they're at work. There are changing rooms so that things are made easier for students. And if we go through here, um, whilst we're in a tidying phase, um, this is where students have completed lots of electrical installation work. And then also down here there are two um, clean rooms. Into one of those rooms. So again, well, well equipped resources and facilities. Thank you for taking the time to watch our virtual tour and we look forward to welcoming you in person soon. Bye. Thank you.